And turning our attention to sports, we are with Drew in the Sports Center talking about some basketball. EWGB getting ready to get back in the court this season. The men's and women's program a little bit different. They're in two different places, I guess you could say. Yeah, one's got a new head coach. The other one, some serious high expectations. Yeah. Almost made the Sweet 16 last year. Oh, maybe this year. UWGB men's team will start with them. They start the Brian Wardle era this week. Practice starts for them Friday night. Departure of Todd Kowalczyk in the offseason, the Phoenix men trying to find an identity now with a new head coach. But Wardle, if you remember, was an assistant for years under Kowalczyk, recruited a lot of the players who are playing there now. So he's hoping there's going to be a seamless transition. So what can we expect from a Brian Wardle coach team? Passionate, um, energetic, um, together. I think they're going to see a lot of guys playing for each other, having each other's back, diving on loose balls, sprinting over to help each other up. Um, I think they're going to see a head coach that's going to get a, as excited for them as they are for each other. And, and I, I just think that's that energy level and the effort level that I think, you know, the, especially Blue Collar Green Bay is going to love watching day in and day out. Well, they're going to need effort, uh, certainly, in their first part of their season as they've got a couple of in-state rivalries. They will travel to Marquette and travel to Wisconsin in the first couple of months of the season. Their first conference game against Cleveland State, that will be Thursday, December 2nd. And, hey, don't forget, Butler's on their schedule a couple of times as well. Well, the women began practice about a week ago. They're returning almost the entire squad that took Iowa State to, to the wire in the second round of the NCAA tournament. So many players coming back. Possibility of getting a little overconfident, head coach Matt Ballant says he'll make sure it doesn't happen. Honestly, we're not going to talk a lot about the, the end of the season. We're going to talk about each day. And uh, two years ago, we knew we wanted to play in the NCAA tournament. And so, you know, you don't talk about the conference tournament and those things. You talk about getting better and controlling each and every day and focusing on, you know, each play instead of the end result. And, and so that'll be our focus as well. But uh, obviously, you know, that's the hope is, is to try to take it a step farther. Step further would mean the Sweet 16. That would be sweet indeed. Uh, you see, they've got a couple of their in-state rivals coming up in November, December as well. They travel uh, to Marquette December 12th, but they will host Wisconsin at the Crest Events Center. That should be a fun one, Thursday, November 18th. Put that down on your calendar. Men and women will have a joint Midnight Mania practice, by the way, Crest Events Center on Friday night. You can head on out there. Festivities start 10.30 p.m.